At first glance, it looks very much like traditional bullfighting, but when the final moment arrives, El Cordobes does not stab the beast. Instead, he pins a stick to its back, and the bull does not die. Las Vegas is hosting its first ever bullfight, an event which has brought Spain and Mexico's big names in the sport to the arena with one condition, that no animal blood be shed. Velcro straps on the animal and on the barbed sticks have replaced hooks. A modification which makes it possible for this producer to promote bullfighting in the United States where it is virtually unknown and only attracts small crowds. It's a way to get the people out here to discover the art of bullfighting. These men are artists, but I have to respect American law, which is why there are no hooks at the end of the barbed sticks. You see what Sotoluco is doing? They do not kill the bull. They simulate the act of stabbing it with the sword. Experts consider Sotoluco to be one of Mexico's finest bullfighters. This is his first bloodless event. It's a lot more dangerous because the bull is not bleeding and remains fierce throughout the entire confrontation. For El Cordobes, the son of the legendary Spanish bullfighter with the same name, it's also a first, and it's not going very smoothly. He's not used to bulls being so sharp. This animal is neither weakened nor injured, and its unpredictable behavior it's frustrating to the young bullfighter. No puede torear de lo despacio que que a uno le gustaría, ¿no? Y y y pues eso, ejecutar el toreo como como a ti te gusta, ¿no? Debido a que a que la comicidad del toro pues es muy distinta, ¿no? Pero pero bueno, bien, la experiencia es buena. The show goes on despite the meager crowd. If the stands are practically empty, it's because this art isn't a part of North American culture, according to Alejandro, who grew up watching bullfights in Mexico. It's a passion which you acquire at a young age. I doubt that you can teach adults to love it. I really doubt it. These bullfighters were facing two challenges in Las Vegas. The first one was to dominate bulls without hurting them, and the other was to seduce the American public. They're now hoping to come back one day to a fully booked arena.